of all of the holidays, I think that Thanksgiving evokes a feeling of caring. The Thanksgiving card evokes who we are. Sometimes in the world we live in, uh, fads or things are, are short-lived. And this is 50 years, and uh, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of humbled and honored to be part of the 50-year celebration of the, of the card. And it's a continuation of an idea that somebody had 50 years ago. It's kind of amazing to think about. Bill Medcalf had the idea, so I guess you'd call him the father of the Thanksgiving card. Many companies would send out Christmas cards, and so Bill thought, since we were a special company, why don't we have a Thanksgiving card and send our, you know, appreciation to our policyholders for their business at Thanksgiving? So uh, he did that. The first painting was done by Bill himself. When I think of the card, and when I think of the messaging in the card, I really think that it is a tangible representation of what this company is about. It represents our values. It represents our mission statement, which is to create peace of mind and to build enduring relationships. I just love the collaboration of everyone coming together and just feeling that importance of this piece and how much it means to the policyholders to receive this in the mail. These cards strike a chord and people have a, have a fondness for them, I think, and, uh, which, is, which is gratifying. We look at many different artists, we look at many different paintings. Uh, we want to get it just right. We want it to be different from year to year. It needs to be special. We call it the goosebump factor. We're looking for that goosebump factor. We're looking for the goosebump factor with the painting, but also with the sentiment. One of my favorite parts is always the poem about how the words are connected to the image. I want it to express hope. Oh, I think that is always my goal. And this year, the painting has a feeling of this aloneness that we all experienced. But there's hope in that too. And that painting brought it home for me that even distanced, there are people who are there for you. Being the artistic face of the year for Amika, you know, is kind of is a great honor, you know. And that was going to be the 50th year, so. I think to the artists who get invited to be on the Amika card, they're entering into a sort of uh, fraternity of other artists who have been included in this. And so it really does mean a lot to artists. I think artists are really sensitive to having their work recognized, and having it recognized on such a large scale is a really great honor for them. <laughs> it feels wonderful to be part of this great tradition. I've received so many emails and so many requests for uh, prints of the painting and cards that they could send out. It was just so exciting to me when they bought it, and then I had an email that said it was going out to 700,000 clients. Oh my God, I told everybody I know. <laughs> it's thrilling, I mean, it's a, it's a great opportunity to uh, expand my work, and going to this huge amount of people is mind-boggling, I can't even comprehend it. Every year my father would get an Amica Thanksgiving card, which I always admired, and I thought, boy, wouldn't that be great if I could do that someday? I cannot believe that something I do it's so appreciated by so many. It's, it's overwhelming to me. It was an honor. It was the most beautiful surprise. One of the highlights of my career, for sure. We received so many compliments and comments on social media, letters. Um, Bob DiMuccio has letters from policyholders that are writing to him, thanking him for the cards. That is something that impresses me, that you know, an insurance company makes such a connection with the people that, that we take care of, that we care about. It bespeaks of a nicer, tender part of a big company, you know. In other words, uh, it, it just tells me that a company thinks of other things other than business. I think because it's genuine, we're sharing a genuine sentiment with our policyholders that we truly, truly are thankful for them as policyholders and that they're the reason why we exist. And everybody that works on it feels that same way, just feels that passion. It's not a selling point. Um, it's not, um, there, there's no call to action other than have a happy Thanksgiving.